I'm John Nader, Member of Parliament for Perth Wellington. On April 9th, we commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Vimy Ridge, one of the most important battles of the First World War and a defining moment in Canadian history. From 1914 to 1918, more than 650,000 Canadians served in the First World War. Many of them served on the Western Front. Their service and sacrifice was both tragic and heroic. Vimy Ridge was a critical point in the war. It occurred as part of the Battle of Arras as an offensive to push the Central Powers out of northern France. Previous attempts by the French and British armies failed to capture the ridge, and the war that had raged for nearly three years continued. In the early morning hours of Monday, April 9th, 1917, the Canadians began their attack. Advancing into rapid gunfire, Canadian soldiers showed great bravery, knowing that many of them would not survive. By noon, they had taken Hill 145 and the majority of the ridge, and they continued to push onward. On the morning of April 10th, they took the highest point of the ridge, and on April 12th, the enemy began to retreat. Following the war, the government of France granted to Canada 264 acres of land at Vimy Ridge for a memorial. Most of this land remains as an unaltered battlefield of trenches, shell craters, and tunnels. And at the top of Hill 145, since the Canadian National War Vimy Memorial. This great monument took 11 years to build and was officially dedicated by King Edward VIII in July 1936, with many veterans of this battle in attendance. 3,598 Canadian soldiers lost their lives at the Battle of Vimy Ridge. They were mostly young soldiers who had their lives tragically cut short. They were valiant heroes. They were Canadians who would never go home again. The Battle of Vimy Ridge is a part of our proud history. It is part of our national identity, and the brave sacrifices of those soldiers will never be forgotten. Thank you.